Good afternoon. Blindsided, angry, and feeling the university is hanging them out to dry. Student athletes and community members packed the UNM Regents meeting today to fight for their sport after the athletic department announced the four sports it thinks should be cut. All of this because of gross financial mismanagement for years. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is live at the Student Union building where the passionate discussion just wrapped up. Madeline. Well, Kim, this ballroom is packed as speaker after speaker took their turn at the podium explaining why these sports should not be cut. UNM President Garnett Stokes started the meeting saying she understands how emotional this is, but that changes must be made. Among the first to address the regents was the beach volleyball team. And every one of you need to look me in the eye and know that. Okay? I watched Lauren speak. I saw people looking down at their paper. Look these kids in the eye. They deserve that. We all deserve that. As we first told you last night, Athletic Director Eddie Nunez is recommending that the Board of Regents eliminate men's soccer, beach volleyball, women's diving, and men's and women's skiing in order to rectify the university's poor finances and comply with Title IX. Soccer coach Jeremy Fishbein brought an army with him. Current players, incoming freshmen, alumni, and even aspiring high school athletes who benefit from the UNM soccer camps every summer. Who are we as New Mexico? Man, are we progressive? What are we going to do? We want to move forward, don't we? Yeah. What do you think, David? I mean, are you guys looking at me? We talked about it. You guys want to move forward? Yeah. yeah. Huh? This is our future. Look at these kids. The majority of the room here is clearly in support of men's soccer. All those who spoke against cutting soccer touted not only the team's success, but its community involvement and impressive academic dedication. Now, the public comment portion of the event did just wrap up. Both Nunez and the board are expected to present next. It's unclear how quickly a decision could be made, but we do expect to speak with the regents as soon as we wrap up this meeting here this afternoon. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Madeline. Now, many people speaking today pointed out that the university pledged to make this a transparent process, but they say with how they released the news, it was nothing but it was not transparent at all. Now, if there is a decision by the board, we will bring it to you on KRQE.com and of course have full coverage on News 13 at 4.